got it in the dark. <laughs> it was nighttime when we went to pick it up and we didn't realize how much stains it had on the top. And then the handle on one of the back seats was kind of messed up like a dog chewed it. But it wasn't bruised. We just got it that way. I think he's excited. I think so. The dogs were all really nice and friendly. We ran into some people that we know. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, bye. I literally told you we've all, we've always hey, dropped hey. off our ballots there. Don't tell your mother. <laughs> I got you, Patty. What did you say? He said I got you because he just yelled at me. <laughs> well, I'm still working on my cabinets. I got distracted. I started uh, wiping down everything and forgot that I was actually working on the cabinets. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here, I don't even know where to start.
All right, I just finished my big overhaul of kitchen organization. I completely rearranged my cabinets, so I feel confident in the choices that I made, but I do know that I need to go and do all the lower cabinet stuff. I worked from home today, so I, I don't wear any makeup when I work from home, and I didn't feel like putting any makeup on, so. We had all of our food items in here. That's my baking cabinet, which I haven't changed yet. That is a whole mess in itself. I did have it organized at one point, but recently I've been kind of just throwing stuff in there, so that needs to get reorganized on another day. We keep all of our pots and pans in our Ziplocs. Need to get reorganized. And then this cabinet has kind of our knickknack stuff in like my cake stands, um, cupcake trays. Over here, we had all our cups and our dishes. And the problem with that is, is that our dishwasher opens right here. So when you're unloading, you can't, like if this pu is pulled down all the way when you're unloading, you can't put stuff up in the cabinets because I, like, I can't reach. I am stuck. So that's why we decided to move stuff. So what we did is I put all of the tea, granola, peanut butter, seasonings. Will you take that away from him? I don't know. I, I can hear it though. I think it's a pine cone. I have random stuff up there. I have dates, a can of Heinz beans, and then my aunt does a lot of preserving. So I have all the stuff from her. All of our pastas and rice. All of our canned foods, box food, and then the snacks all the way at top, so it's the hardest to reach. We moved all of our day-to-day -day plates and bowls. That's our china. A depression glass. We have my Christmas plates. This is our china too. It's a really simple pattern, my mom. Oh, I need to wash that. My mom got it for us at Goodwill. And it's just really beautiful and simple. I like it a lot. I'm on a stool right now because I can't reach anything. This is also my vintage 60s glassware that I really like. Um, mugs. My mom had the exact same cup growing up. So I thought that was really funny that we were able to find that champagne glasses and some wine glasses down here but we have a completely different storage for that i haven't changed anything on the countertops i think when we reorganize the leftover ones down here and then also over here i want to try and get less stuff on the counter i think our plan is to get stainless steel gas stove Stainless steel refrigerator with the pull-out freezer on the bottom. Dishwasher over here if we can, just so it's not blocking the stove. Like, you can't have both open right now, which is not an issue in day-to-day, -day, but for holidays, it can get a little hectic. Here, you guys saw me organized. This is kind of like our paper towels, linens, and reusable bags. We have a ton of reusable bags, so I just split them up between canvas bags and plastic bags. And I did separate some of them out so that I could donate them because we have way too many. And then down here we did our, I don't know if you can see, but like our water bottles, there's vases down here, and then our million copper mugs. That's pretty much the gist of it. That's what I'm gonna do this evening. I've been, how, when did I start? I don't know. I've been doing this for a little while now, so I think I'm going to tap out for the evening and then reorganize everything else later. I I got a really good start, and I'm happy with the changes that we made to where we have stuff located. I'm just like, I'm exhausted now, but yeah, that's the that's a full meal deal for now, and then... I'll probably film when I reorganize more and you guys can see that, but that's it for now.
thanks for hanging out with me and watching me clean and reorganize my kitchen. I feel so good after getting that done. Guys, I'm at the mall today. I have to run some errands. I have to return some shoes to Nordstrom and then I might take a look in the other shops there, but I'm going to try and avoid that because you know, tis the season, start saving money to make sure that we have enough to carry us through the winter and buying presents for everyone. And my birthday is in January, so I want to make sure that we're looking good financially for the new year. So I'm just going to return the shoes. I might look into some other stores. Maybe not. We'll see. But I'll take you guys with me. The lighting is awful, but the mall was a success. I did not get any crazy items. I just got my shoes returned and exchanged, and then I got a highlighter from MAC. I also got a smoothie because, man, I felt like I was getting low blood sugar or something in the mall, so I was like, I need to get something in me. I may have had too much caffeine and not enough food today. It's something I do pretty often, so I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm gonna go into Target now and get my prescriptions and look around a little bit and then I'll be heading home. I got my prescriptions, so that got taken care of. I have my stuff figured out from the mall. So I think I'm just gonna go home now. I really don't feel good. I was really sweaty in the mall and then in Target just now I got the chills. So I don't know, I'm just not feeling very good. I'm not feeling like myself. I'm just gonna head home. I was thinking about going to the grocery store. Um, I'm on my period, so I wanted to get cheesecake because it sounded really good, but I just, I think it'd be best for me to just to go home and like, I'm like, not as shaky, but I was really shaky earlier and I just wanna go home. So I think that's gonna be the end of the uh, shopping fun adventure. So I think we're all set and ready to go home. Peace.